मोशन पार्ट टू यूनिफॉर्म एंड नॉन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट द मोशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट अलॉन्ग ए स्ट्रेट लाइन अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिस्टेंस एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट यूनिफॉर्म एंड नॉन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन एंड अबाउट स्पीड Let's first understand what we mean by rate of motion. It is a measure of how much the position of an object changes in unit time. For example, consider a car in motion starts from the origin. After 2 seconds, it reaches at the position 10 meters away. In the next 2 seconds, it covers again 10 meters. we can observe that as time passes its position changes the change in the position is 10 meters in 2 seconds of the time interval now here comes the concept of speed which is the measurement of the rate of motion it is the total distance traveled by an object in unit time its si unit is meter per second the speed of an object can remain constant or it can vary with time suppose an object let's say a red car covers 20 meters in the first second in the next second it again covers 20 meters and so on so in these short intervals of time the car covers equal distances this type of motion is known as uniform motion an object in uniform motion covers equal distances in equal intervals of time it has to be noted that the speed of an object remains constant in uniform motion but most of the time speed is not constant it sometimes increases decreases or remains constant for an equal amount of time intervals this type of motion is known as non uniform motion for example this blue car covers 10 meters in the first second it covers 15 meters in the next second and in the third second it covers 8 meters so in this case for equal time intervals distance covered by the car is not the same and so this type of motion is non uniform motion let's look at another example here is a table which shows time distance data of two trucks truck a and truck b Can you tell which one is in uniform motion and which one is in non-uniform motion? Answer: Truck A's motion is uniform because it covers the same distance, 10 kilometers, in each 15-minute interval. In case of non-uniform motion, as the speed is varying for the given time interval. we describe the rate of motion of such objects in terms of their average speed it is defined as the total distance traveled divided by the total time taken if an object travels a distance s in time t then its speed v is equal to s per t let's take an example If a car covers 100 kilometers in 2 hours, can you tell its average speed? V is equal to 100 kilometers per 2 hour is equal to 50 kilometers per hour. In this video, we learned about uniform and non-uniform motion and about speed.
In the next video, we will learn about speed with direction.